Well, Barbie parent company Mattel reporting a surprise second quarter profit of 10 cents an adjusted share. That compares with expectations of a two cent a share loss. But both revenue and profit fell year over year. Mattel, of course, is going to see a much greater impact from that hit movie Barbie in the next quarter since the film just came out last Friday. Stock right now down by about two cents. But uh, we want to bring in Mattel's chairman and CEO, Enon Kreis. And Enon, uh, the phenomenon that is this movie has been huge. You see it everywhere. Uh, you go to the movie theater, you see it out, you see the marketing campaign for it. When does that really play out into your earnings, just in terms of toy purchases or things that it can really mean for your company? Uh, hi, Becky. Well, from the very beginning, this was never about just about making a movie. This was about creating a cultural phenomenon. And we could not be more proud and happy with the way the movie is playing out. We're seeing a very broad audience, more than female. We're seeing male uh, fans. We're seeing people coming back two and even three times to the cinema. The movie is playing extremely well internationally. And all in all, it's a great launch for our first production out of Mattel Films. Yeah, we expect to see the impact oh, uh, playing down further down, uh, further um, uh, in the second half of the year and expect Barbie to grow for the full year. What, what happened just in terms of sales of Barbie? Are you selling out of stuff right now? Yes, very much so. The movie-related product has been selling out very fast. Uh, we're seeing strong performance entering into the, uh, into the third quarter. And clearly, there is a lot of demand and excitement for Barbie out there. Yeah, are you going to be upping production of uh, Barbie stuff for Christmas? Well, we're working very hard to fulfill what we're seeing as increased demand. Uh, Barbie is such a strong brand. It's resonating at a level we, of course, uh, uh, haven't seen before. We need to remember that going into this movie, Barbie was already one of the strongest brands in the industry. For two years in a row, it was the number one brand uh, in the world in the toy category. So yeah, and the brand is already strong. And of course, the movie is elevating it to uh, another level. We're looking at this one month chart. It stocks up 15%, I think, a lot because of the excitement around this movie. It's certainly paid off in terms of the buzz and what you're seeing, and probably the halo effect into sales for these things. But the other issue that Mattel's been dealing with, and all toy makers have been dealing with, is just this idea that people aren't buying as many toys as they were during the pandemic when kids were stuck at home. I know you guys have been dealing with retailers managing their inventory. That hit in the first quarter and the second quarter. Do you think you're through that yet? What happens? And, and, and are we getting back to just a normal demand for toys? Yeah, we do believe that retail inventory, the in retail inventory correction is mostly behind us. Our own inventory is down by over $200 million. We have seen softness in the second quarter in the toy industry, but we expect, uh, we expect to see increase in a, in a positive holiday season for the toy industry overall. Richard Dixon, who was responsible, or at least credited, with the big turnaround for Barbie for your company, uh, it was announced yesterday he's leaving to go be the CEO at Gap. It, it, is that a huge hit to you guys? How do you, how do you fill in and how do you create the buzz that had been there before? We have a very strong and deep uh, management team with a lot of experience, decades of experience. Lisa McKnight, who was working with Richard and managed Barbie since 2016 and very much hmm. part of the transformation as a leader uh, with Richard, uh, is going to run our category structure with our global brands. And Joe Silverman, who uh, came from Disney just less than a year ago, is going to oversee all of the non-toy commercial activities. And of course, together with a very strong team overall, we're very excited by this, this next phase of growth for Mattel. And of course, the Barbie brand coming off a pivotal point with the success of the movie. Yeah, I know that this has been something you've been working on for a long time, this pipeline with Hollywood. This is the first big payoff for it. I, I read that there are 14 potential film or film ideas that are in the works at some level or shape or form. I guess I'd, I'd wonder, what did you learn from this Barbie experience, and how do you put that into play with other potential films that are out there, whether that be Hot Wheels, Barney, Polly Pocket? Yeah, the, the Barbie movie was really a showcase for the cultural resonance of our brands, our ability to attract and collaborate with top creative talent, and of course, the, uh, creative capa the, the promotional and marketing capabilities and our franchise management expertise. 
And you know, the collaboration with Warner Brothers has been phenomenal. Warner Brothers has done an amazing job from the very beginning. They showed commitment to the project. They brought in their marketing and promotional platform. And together, we created something very special, a cultural phenomenon. This was not just about marketing a movie. This is a cultural phenomenon. You know, this movie wasn't targeted at kids. That's the weirdest part about the whole thing. It's getting huge buzz, but that definitely plays out and is, is the way you see it in the future. Do you need to bring in older audiences from the PG-13, or will other movies be directed more at the kids who would naturally be your market? Well, we're looking to create unique experiences. We're not looking to take the conventional route or traditional uh, uh, filmmaking. This was always about trying to find a creative approach a unique voice, and of course, what Greta Gerwig created in terms of uh, the, the creative execution and her vision of a modern day interpretation for one of the most iconic brands in modern culture is obviously what made the movie so successful, but this is the approach. We're looking to partner with creative talent, support and amplify them, and then bring in our capabilities to market and promote and create events uh, out of these movies, not just for cinema goers, but for culture overall. So what movie is next? Well, we have a few exciting projects in the pipeline. We haven't announced the, uh, uh, when they will come out yet, but we have uh, the Hot Wheels project produced by J.J. Abrams uh, and distributed a partner with Warner Brothers, Matchbox with Skydance, Rock'em Sock'em Robots with Vin Diesel, Polly Pocket with Lily Collins, Major Matt Mason with Tom Hanks. We have the Barney movie and a very exciting slate and a very diverse mix offering different genres, different demographics, and all in all, a very strong portfolio, a very exciting slate of projects that are, uh, are now currently in development.